we had a number of events that um, I think we as the bar were honored and proud to sponsor and present to the community. Uh, one of the most memorable event, events, which we still undertake thanks to Judge Hassan el is the oratorical contest. The J. Franklin Bourne Bar Association by county high school oratorical contest, which I've been blessed to be able to coordinate uh, since 2000. Over the past uh, 20 years, I've had 19 contests. Through that contest, we've been able to offer approximately $35,000 in scholarships. The students that participate, they tackle some very difficult topics and they're clear and concise and it gives me hope that these are our future leaders. Um, another event um, during that time that I had the uh, honor to chair for several years was Taste of the Counties. I inherited that from past president uh, Betty Hewlett. It was so much fun and I loved it because it was a community event. So because I had the pleasure and honor of having a father, Hassan El Amin, as I call him, Daddy, uh, as an active member of J. Franklin Bourne, I literally grew up in this association. I was able to go to the Taste of the Counties as a kid and walk around and try some of the delicious food and help my dad make his deviled eggs. Um, it's an event that I would look forward to growing up. Additionally, the uh, participant, the male participants, went way out to exhibit their um, extraordinary culinary talents. And I think some of us were joking about some of my cooking and, and some of the other members of the association who were outstanding cooks. So why not showcase the men of Press Georgia and Montgomery Counties who cook? So um, not to mention that I won several of those awards of the best uh, outstanding cook for the J. Franklin Bourne. One of the dishes one year was the uh, um, chocolate cheesecake with the inner layer of sweet pitted cherries. The J. Franklin Bourne Bar Association, the county bar, the community, the kids, families, it was just a wonderful event. We raised a lot of money, but it wasn't the money wasn't the focus of it. It was the camaraderie, the competition between the guys cooking and the families and the kids running around. So it was just, I think the taste of the county was one of those events that was just so memorable. The service project that I uh, initiated with J. Franklin Bourne was Christmas in April. Christmas in April was a project started with uh, the county executive, Paris Glendening, in the late 1980s. And it's a wonderful organization that tries to work on the homes of those needy and senior residents in Prince George's County. And once I worked with them, with the county exec, I went back to Bourne and to the Prince George's County Bar Association and asked if anybody would be willing to volunteer to do this work. And to my amazement, several attorneys joined that year and stayed involved in Christmas in April for the next 20. And even in the latest years when I have done less, I have noticed that Judge Sharon Kelsey stepped up and worked very hard with Christmas in April and many other members. Came. There was one woman who, who was a breast cancer survivor and she also suffered seriously from osteoporosis. And uh, while there were other things that she needed in the house that we were able to get for her, her biggest struggle was doing laundry. She didn't have a washer and dryer in her home and she had to go to a laundromat and that was very taxing on her joints. And so uh, in addition to doing the beautification, we actually raised money and we surprised her. And uh, the day that we did the work for her, uh, the truck came backing up in and we called her out and the, the door to the truck rose up and out came a brand new washer and dryer and she was just, um, she was overwhelmed. So that probably was the highlight.